John chapter 20, on that very first Easter evening, Jesus' disciples were huddling together in a locked room for fear of the Jews, when Jesus, who had just resurrected from the dead that very day, came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Now, this is significant. First of all, it was the very first Easter Sunday, so most of those disciples had not yet seen Jesus alive. And when he came to them, he came to them so that they would be eyewitnesses of the risen Christ. And he came to them to affirm their faith by giving them the Holy Spirit. He, he came to calm their fears and to bring to them the forgiveness of sins. And so he says those words, peace be with you. And he said it not once, but twice, peace be with you. So we must not let the remarkable nature of that statement pass us by. Because when Jesus says, peace be with you, it is not just a greeting like, hey, how you doing? I mean, like, think about that on Sunday morning when your pastor says, peace be with you. It's not like, what's up? But rather, it's the peace of God is with you. That's absolution. That's a, your sinfulness has caused a giant rift between you and God, an insurmountable gulf that cannot be bridged. But Jesus has provided a way for you to be at peace with God. He has reconciled you to your heavenly Father. Because of Christ, there can be, and in fact, there is peace between God and sinful man. And that's not just a gift for the disciples. It's a gift for all the world. And Jesus comes to his disciples and he breathes on them and he says, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. These are the keys of the church that Christ has given to his church, the, the keys of absolution, the, the forgiveness of sins. That's something that we need, that we need desperately to have our sins forgiven because our sin is binding and constricting. Without these keys, we would be sentenced to an eternity of death and hell. But here's the good news. Although we are completely undeserving to be set free from our sinful rebellion, Jesus came and he rescued us. He is the blood-drenched key who looses the chains of sin from around our necks and releases us from bondage and death. God sent his son to bring us freedom and life. And so, as he has come, he places before us an open door that no man can ever shut. Just as the open door of the tomb on Easter morning proclaims his authority over death and his power to deliver us from salvation, so too he opens a door of salvation for you. God himself has done this for you. And he invites you in because you are at peace with him, because of his son, because he has assured us that through his sacrifice upon the cross and his resurrection from the dead, we are at peace with God and we have the assurance of everlasting life.